Welcome everybody. If you are new to practicing with me, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Dominique and today I will be guiding you through a Met Pilates workout that focuses on the lower body. For this workout, we will be using ankle weights and I recommend anywhere from one to three pounds. We will get started on our backs in a broken bridge. So once you have your ankle weights on and your mat laid out, go ahead and face towards the front. Knees are bent, soles of the feet are planted, and then just roll yourself down onto the mat. Once the back is on the mat, walk your feet in a little bit closer to the glutes and then walk your feet out to the width of the mat. Knees will fall in towards one another and then you can place the arms wherever it's most comfortable for you. So they can be alongside the body, out to a T or overhead. And we'll just take a few moments here to center and to come to the breath. We prepare for movement first by centering ourselves. So bring awareness to the breath, the inhales and the exhales. And then we'll take a round of cleansing breath together. So wherever you are in your breath cycle, empty the breath completely. And then together we inhale through the nose, open mouth, sigh, release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, sigh, release. Find a natural cadence with the breath again. And if the arms are overhead or out to a T, just go ahead and bring them alongside the body. We separate the knees, heel toe the feet so that the feet are in line with the hips. We find a neutral pelvis here. So go ahead and knit the ribs in. We have engagement through the core and left foot stays planted with left knee bent, but we extend right leg long and point through right toes. Lift up through the kneecap to engage the quad. Then we'll begin to lift the foot up towards the ceiling and lower it back down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, Exhale to lower. Keep moving here. So you'll have a lot of engagement through left foot to keep left leg stable. You'll also turn on the inner thigh muscles in both legs. At the same time, your core is challenged because we have this dynamic of moving right leg, but trying to keep the pelvis stable. We have a few more rounds here. Heat is building in the quad. Last four. Last three. Last two. On this last one, we hold it at the top. Drive through your left heel to lift your glutes off the earth into a bridge. We're in a one-legged bridge here. We'll do a little lower and lift, lower and lift for eight, seven, six, strong through right leg, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the back onto the earth. Keep right leg up and straight. Extend left leg out. This will challenge the core. Try not to cone, knit the ribs in. And then we find scissor kicks. Very slow here. Take your time. If you're finding a little bit of a struggle with a neutral pelvis, you can always turn this into an imprint. Just a few more and then we'll land with our left foot up towards the ceiling. Bend your right leg, right foot plants on the earth. We have the lower and lift on this side. So if you went into an imprint, know that you can always adjust the pelvis to find a neutral pelvis here. Check in with the core again, knit the ribs in. The scissor kicks are very hard when it comes to coning. It's something that I struggle with myself. It takes so much core engagement, especially when you add on the ankle weights. 
It's amazing what just a few extra pounds can do. We have a few more here. Last four. Last three. Last two. On this last one, we keep a left foot up towards the ceiling. Drive through right heel and lift. We lower and lift. We're in the one-legged bridge here. Keep moving for eight, seven, six, five, four, neutral pelvis, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down, left leg stays up, extend your right leg out, find the scissor kicks. <sighs> Legs might be shaking, that's okay. Check in with your core, knit the ribs in. We have just a few more here. This one's really hard to not rush. Try to take your time. Last three, last two, Last one, bring both of the knees in, give them a squeeze, rock left and right. Whew, we got right into it with this one. Take a moment, find your breath. You can take another deep inhale and exhale here if you would like. And then our feet will plant on the earth again. We will walk the feet out a little bit wider. So we're going for an extended bridge. If you have to adjust as we move through this, go ahead and do so. Arms come alongside the body and it's up to you if you wanna keep the balls of the feet on the earth or if you wanna lift them to really help you drive through the heels. So take a moment, check in with your alignment, knit the ribs in, and then again, drive through the heels, lift up into the extended bridge and lower back down. We lift and lower, lift and lower. Take your time. If you have the balls of the feet lifted and you notice that you're cramping through the shins, you can always just lower the balls of the feet back down onto the earth. It's up to you, whichever is going to help you drive through the heels more. You can even play around with both to see which one feels best for you. We have a few more and then we hold at the top, zip up and in through the inner thighs. Last four, three, two, hold and squeeze at the top, little lift up and up, up and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold and squeeze at the top. Now we're going to find a little bit of a hip circle. So you'll Lean over towards the left, bring it down and around, out towards the right and up. Now we reverse, out towards the right, down and around, up to the left. Go back down towards the left and then back towards the right. One more in each direction. And then we hold and squeeze at the top. Breathe here, yes you can for five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself down, extend the legs long, roll onto your right side. So legs are extended long here. We will prop ourselves up using our hand. Your hand will support your head. Left hand is in front of you, point through the toes, strong legs, then lift left leg so it's in line with the hip. Knit the ribs in, then we sweep left leg forward, sweep left leg back. Sweep left leg forward, sweep left leg back. Keep moving here. The challenge is to try to keep the upper body as stable as possible. 
And as you sweep left leg back, really squeeze through left glute. Both legs are engaged. Lift up through the kneecaps to engage the quads. Keep moving, keep breathing. Just a few more here and then we'll move into rainbows. See if you can be really light on left hand. Perhaps you challenge yourself for these last three. Two, maybe you even lift the hand. Last one. Now lower the toes back behind your right foot. Lift them over, tap in front. Rainbow to the back, rainbow to the front. Rainbow to the back, rainbow to the front. This does not have to be a big grand movement. It can be small. And again, if you would like, you can hover your left hand off the earth. Perhaps you even bring your left arm overhead. Can add a little bit more of a challenge for you to keep the core and pelvis stable. We have three, two, one. Now if left hand is lifted, lower it. We bend through left knee, place left foot in front of right leg. We're moving through an inner thigh movement for your right leg. So you'll engage through right inner thigh, lift right leg, lower and lift, lower and lift. Ribs are still knitting in here. Take your time. No need to rush. Try not to relax through left leg. Still keep left leg engaged. We have a few more. Last three. Last two. Last one, lower right leg. We move into clamshell. So you'll keep your left knee bent, just lift left foot. Bring both of the feet together. We start with the legs open, then close the knees and open. Close the knees and open, close and open. So feet are lifted off the earth for this variation. Again, you can lift your left hand up towards the ceiling if you would like. Last four, three, two, and one. Close the legs, keep the knees bent, and lower them down to the earth. If left hand was lifted, bring it back down. Then we press ourselves up so that we're supported by right forearm. We will move into a side plank. So it's your choice if you would like hand on the hip, hand in the air, or anywhere else that works for you. So we lift the glutes up and then we lower them back down. Lift up and you kind of like sit back. So we lift up into that diagonal line and then lower down. And the reason why I say diagonal is because when you're lifted, you'll be up towards right corner of the mat and then lower down. Lift and lower lift and lower. Just a couple of more here. And on this last one, hold and squeeze at the top. Now we all lift left hand up and thread underneath. Release and lift, thread, release and lift, and then we thread. So each time you thread, you wanna think chest muscles down towards the mat. Lift up and away from the mat. So there's a lot of strength coming through your right arm, right shoulder. Try not to collapse into it. Last three. Last two. Last one. 
Then lower the hips down, lift yourself up into a mermaid, stretch through right side body, right arm overhead. Then you can even give yourself some arm circles for a shoulder release. Then we'll rotate the legs to the other side. We do that same sequence again. So we lay on left side this time. Legs are long to start. Lower yourself down. Left hand supports your head. Right hand can be down on the earth or you can lift it at any time. And then we lift right leg in line with the hip. It's okay if you lift it a little high and then go ahead and sweep the leg forward. Sweep the leg back. Sweep the leg forward. Sweep the leg back. So we really want to try to keep the leg in line with the hip. Sometimes our foot might lower down, it might lift a little higher. Just be conscious of where the leg is in relation to the hip. And again, each time you sweep the leg back, really squeeze through right glute. Try to challenge yourself, see if you can take any weight out of right hand. Ribs still knit in here. A few more and then we go into the rainbows. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one here. Then we tap the toes behind us. Lift, tap the toes in front. Lift, tap them behind. Lift, rainbow to the front. Keep with that movement. Again, these can be very small. Does not have to be a big grand movement. Just make sure you're still engaging through the core to keep the pelvis as stable as possible. Just a few more here. Then we move into the inner thigh work. Last three. Last two, last one. So we bend through right knee, plant right foot, then we lift through left leg and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Don't forget to stay engaged through your right leg. So inner and outer thigh is working through right leg. Mostly the inner on left leg. Just a few more. Last three. Last two. Last one. And we lift right leg in the air, bend at left knee, clamshells, lower, close, open, lift, lower to close, lift to open. Keep moving here. Second side is always a little bit harder. Both legs are now getting fatigued. Dig deep here. A lot of times moving forward is a lot more mental than it is physical. Yes, you can. Last three. Last two. Last one, close the legs, lower them down, press yourself up onto left forearm. You can lift your right hand in the air. Then we lift up into the side plank, lower back. Lift up, lower back, lift up and lower back. So just think that you're going back to that starting position every time you lower yourself down. We have a few more and then we'll hold and add the thread. Two more. Last one and hold. Then we thread right hand underneath and lift. Thread and lift. Thread and lift. Again, lift 
up and away from the mat, lift out of left shoulder. We want to avoid collapsing into the left shoulder here, so it'll definitely take some strength. Last three. Last two. Last one. Lower the hips, lift yourself up. Mermaid stretch, stretch your left side body. You can roll that left wrist or the arm. Release the shoulder. Then we'll face towards the top of the mat again. We'll prepare for a plank. So you'll come onto your knees first, tuck through the toes, plant the hands down onto the mat, and then make sure the weight is distributed all through the hands. So your finger pads are really gonna press into the mat here. Knit the ribs in, then step one leg back and then the other for your plank pose. Squeeze through the glutes here. Again, up and away from the mat. Then if you would like, lift left leg, lower it down. Lift right leg, lower it down. Lift left leg, lower it down. Lift right leg, lower it down. If you're lifting the legs, try to go for five on each side. Neutral neck here. And we all hold for three, two, one. Knees down, press back, child's pose. Take a moment, come back to your breath. One more little sequence and then we're done. Lift yourself up into a tabletop, knees underneath the hips, extend your right leg back. Lift your right leg and then tap the toes over towards the left. Lift and then lower back. Lift, tap to the left, lift, lower down. Lift, tap to the left, lift, Lower down, keep moving through this. Again, just like we did in the plank, press up and away from the mat and distribute the weight through the hands, lift up and out of the wrists. Core is still engaged here. Nibs, <laughs> nibs. Ribs knit in. Last three. Last two, last one. Now keep right leg lifted behind, lift up, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee comes down, we move right into the other leg. Extend left leg back, lift left foot off the earth, tap toes over towards the right, lift and lower, lift, tap to the right, lift and lower, lift, tap to the right, lift and lower. Keep it moving. We're almost there. This is the home stretch. This is the last little bit of work. And then we cool down as we stretch through the legs, neutral neck. We have a few more here. Last three, last two, last one. Then when left leg comes behind you, we lift and then a little pulse up and up, up and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knee, sit back, child's pose again. Perhaps you take another round of cleansing breath with an inhale through the nose and an exhale out the mouth. Then whenever you're ready, you'll tuck the toes and lift yourself up into a down dog, stretch through the hamstrings here. You can pedal through the feet. 
length through the sides of the body in your down dog. Then eventually you will shift the weight forward as right foot comes outside of right hand, lower left knee to the earth, untuck, and then take a moment. You can rock left and right here if you would like. And then rock back into a half split. Go ahead, rock forward, tuck left toes, lift left knee, step right foot back, send it back down dog. We move to the other side, so shift the weight forward, bring left knee, left elbow, then lower left foot outside of left hand, right knee to the earth, untuck right toes. You can stay still or find movement. Opening through the hips, right quad. And then eventually weight shifts back for a half split. Now instead of shifting back into a down dog, all you'll do is swing your right leg around, bring your glutes to the earth, knees are bent, hands are behind the glutes, and then you'll go ahead and make your way into a figure four. So we'll start with right leg, bring outside right ankle on top of left leg, and create as little or as much space as you would like between left heel and the glutes. And this is a stretch through outer right hip and right glute. You can stay still or find movement. It's up to you. Whatever works best and whatever helps you with the stretch more. Then eventually you switch it out to the other side. This time right foot is planted, right knee is bent, and we have outside left ankle on top of right leg. Then we let that go and give yourself a round of applause. You are done with your workout today. That was a quick and fiery one. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button and to comment below. I will see you next time. Thank you.